Sziasztok! So today we are starting a mini-series of the things that we have already bought for the baby. I'm 25 weeks pregnant and we already have quite a few things and uh, but we have quite a few things on our list to buy still. Uh, for example, things that we already have are the car seat, the, the changing pad, changing mat, a couple of clothes, uh, the baby crib and a couple of things that I'm probably forgetting already because of the membrane and um, we're gonna show you why did we choose exactly these products over others what are the features that I really liked when we picked these things and um, give you a price estimate as well we are buying some of these items second hand I think that's just good practice to, to give a second life or in our case a third or fourth life even to things so today the first item will be our baby crib that is actually an evolutive bed, meaning that it will grow, sort of grow, with your baby. We will be able to use it from birth until our daughter is seven years old. This is a bed that we bought uh, second hand. Our child will be the third one uh, sleeping in it. Okay, Bobby. Bobby, just come here. Come here. Bobby. Just why are you doing this? I was, I was on a roll. Please. Bonnie, come here. Come here. Get a chiquita bunny. So our child will be the third uh, using uh, this exact uh, bed until she is six or seven years old. Um, it's a Danish brand, very durable. You obviously you see that it's not a completely new bed. There are signs of, of wear and tear on it, but Honestly, we just wiped it off, we, we, we gave the, the, the mattress cover a good washing at the professional store and I think it's as good as new. You, I, nobody would be able to say that uh, we bought it second hand. It has quite a hefty price, so it's almost a thousand euros if you buy it from, from their store online. But as I said, we bought it second hand. So without further ado, uh, I'm gonna ask my partner Milan to help assemble the bed and let's see. So this is the bed at its lowest setting. Our daughter is gonna be able to start using it as from two years old until she is six or seven, which I think is great. Uh, you can see it's a neutral color, it's very cozy. So now let's go one size up. So this will be uh, the setting from 18 to 24 months or well these are actually not exact numbers you can see that it's a very cozy space and uh, obviously we're gonna put some bedding in here so it's gonna get even more cozy but uh, basically this is it so let's see the next setting So this is the next setting, we're going to use this from 6 months to 18 months. Uh, you see that it's sufficiently deep, so she will not probably be able to climb out. Well, I'm certainly not able to climb in. And I love this curvy design, I think it's an everlasting uh, look. And the fact that our child is going to be the third child growing up with this bed is a certificate for quality. So let's see the next setting. first setting that we are going to use uh, when our daughter is born. Uh, we're gonna use it until she's six months old. Uh, you can see the teddy bear for reference on how high the bed is. So I think it's gonna be lovely for the next several years to come. This is a very simple but quality bed that's gonna be great for people who are looking for quality and durability for years to come. Besides the, the Leander bed, we also bought a, a co-sleeper, also second hand. This will be next to our bed in the first uh, period when I need to breastfeed her during the evenings and this will basically just make my life so much more easier. So this is the co-sleeper. As I said, we bought it uh, secondhand from Facebook Marketplace. It's of the brand Babygo. 
Uh, I think it's originally from Amazon and they bought it for 60 euros, I think, no? 40, something like that. It's very simple. You can close up the side like something like that. Yeah, and you can zip it up. But obviously, we, we just this is not going to be our permanent bed, just a co-sleeper. As you can see, it's almost at the same height as our bed which is on the lowest setting. The feet are also adjustable, so you can make it into uh, a rocking bed. It has an adjustable height, so you can make it uh, as low as possible, uh, which is almost, I think, ground level, or this is the highest setting. And uh, something that I really like is that because you can set the, the height on each side differently, uh, it's also good for babies with, uh, with, with reflux. Uh, because you can obviously then make the, the, the where, where the head is a bit higher. So yeah, very simple, a neutral color. i um, very happy with it so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, first episode of the mini-series and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao!